agencies that I need more and more and more. Have you ever heard any advertising on TV to consume less? No. <laughs> no way. Whether you need a, a, a six-cylinder car or not, you have to buy it. And hurry up. <laughs> when I was driving here on the local radio station, an excited announcer said, you hurry up, rush and save, save, save. There is a pantyhose sale. <laughs> save by buying more. <laughs> of course, of course. It, it would be too naive to expect that KGB makes that advertising agency to, to do such a crazy commercial. No, of course not. But what we did when I was working for Novosti Press, we would snow plow editorial offices, student organizations, religious groups with literature of class struggle, May, if, if not directly Marxism, Leninist propaganda, then a propaganda of of the legitimate aspirations of working class, betterment of life, equality, equality. Mind you, President Kennedy once said, people, we will make America to believe that people are born equal. Are people born equal? Is there any mentioning in the Bible or any other holy scripture in any religion, any religion, if you don't believe me, go to the library and check it. There is not a single word about equality. Just the opposite. By your deeds, God will judge you. What you do is important. The merit of your personality. You cannot legislate equality. If you want to be equal, you have to be equal. You have to deserve it. And yet we build our society on the principle of equality. We say people are equal. We know it is false. It's a lie. Some people are tall and stupid, others are short, bold, and clever. Let's talk about the equal opportunity to excel. Equal opportunity in equal circumstances, yes, but you know people are different. To excel, yes, provided we reach the same level of excellency, perfection, which is hypothetical distant future. Yes, maybe, but we know perfectly well that even with the best intentions, people could not be equal. Why should we have equality in, uh, in, in the, uh, say, legal system? Myself, I'm, I'm considering myself a law-abiding citizen, and a person who comes here to rob and shoot, say, the United States administration under Carter, imported thousands of Cuban criminals. They were non criminals yet they were accepted. Do you think it's fair if myself and my wife from Philippines who work like a, excuse me, horse as a, as a lab technician in, in the hospital, should have the same rights as a criminal from, from Cuba? Why? And yet we repeat as parents, equality, equality, equality. And the Soviet propaganda system helps us to believe that equality is something which is desirable. Democracy, as it was established by fathers of this country, of, of this system, in the last century, is, is not equality. It's the system where different people, unequal people, have a chance to survive and help each other in constant competition, in constant perfection, not in equality, which is superimposed from, from a, a, a godfather or a nice person in Washington, D.C. And the absolute equality exists in Soviet Union, quote-unquote equality. Everybody is equal in, in dirt, except some people are more equal than the others in Politburo. <laughs> <laughs> so, the moment you, you bring a country to the point of almost total demoralization, when nothing works anymore, when you are not sure if it is right or, or wrong, good and bad, but there's no division between evil and good, when even the leaders of church sometimes say, well, violence for the sake of justice, especially social justice, is justified in a countries like Nicaragua, El Salvador, well, maybe Rhodesia, 
and we listen to them and say, yeah, probably it's true. Is it true? No, it is not true. Violence is not justified, especially for the sake of quote-unquote social justice introduced by Marxist Leninism. That is my former colleague from Novice to Press Agency. Okay, so we reach that point. The next step is destabilization. Again, this word says for itself what it is. To destabilize all the relations, all the accepted institutions and organizations in the country of your enemy. How you do it? And it's what many people have caught backlash for talking about, such as Jordan Peterson, which...